Ever wanted to make your SOLIDWORKS model move but we're not sure how? I have a couple of tools I want to talk about inside of SOLIDWORKS that will help you design and show off your creations. For my data set today, I am once again using content from First Robotics Team 3506 Yeti. For this 3 minute Thursday, let's make this robot move in SOLIDWORKS using the Make Controller and your creation will move too. This is part one of a three part series, so let's begin with the easiest method. The new Mate controller was introduced in 2016, and in the upgraded 2017 version, it will allow you to use configurations too. I want to make several of my created assemblies move accordingly so that I can create and record some technical design data. The Mate controller uses angle and distance mates to control the motion of the assembly in a staged format. This allows the user to control the motion of each individual mate in timed steps, which you can then string into an animation. The motions are organized into simple positions. You create a new position, input the angle or distance values for your mates, and hit update position to change the position of the components for each step in the motions. Using the interface at the bottom of the mate controller menu, you can enter a time for how long you want the motion to take in between positions. Beautifully simple motions can be created quickly and easily with no need to assign motors or forces to an assembly. Using the Make Controller, I can approximate cycle times for individual machines and tell which mechanisms need to move and how quickly. I can then string all of these steps together and export it as an AVI file. Quick and simple, although you can create more complicated motions using SOLIDWORKS, this tool will suffice for a very large number of motion problems most users need to solve. For this robot example, the mechanisms had to be multi-purpose, they had to interface with many other moving parts on the field, and they had to be placed into a very tight package. Not many machines can climb a six foot wall while being under 12 inches in height, so this posed a unique challenge with multiple iterations that the Mate Controller can solve a lot faster than other methods. But you can also import the Mate Controller into a motion study using the other tools will require additional setups, explosive views, and configurations, whereas this tool will allow me to simply save each machine state as a position then the motion is what occurs in the uh, time in between and I do not have to worry about the science. It is my hope that with SOLIDWORKS Mate Controller you can simplify some of your motion problems in your machine design phase much like these students did. There are also some new features inside of the Mate Controller in 2017 that will allow you to make and modify configurations and tie them to your positions so make sure you experiment with that functionality as well. This has been TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays. Thank you and we'll see you next time.